EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Martichur with your outlook for the weekend, June 6th and 7th, 2020. Not too bad of a weekend coming up here. We're going to be very warm and humid again today ahead of a cold front that's going to be dropping down. That's going to be kicking out the, uh, the, the dying stalled boundary that's been over a region for a couple of days. Brought plenty in the way of showers and thunderstorms for some areas. Uh, that is going to be kicked out today by this uh, this cold front. It's going to come through this afternoon. There is a possibility that you could have a stray shower or thunderstorm. It will be very brief, though, uh, and very quick moving through the region during the course of the afternoon. Uh, the global models have it, but you see they're just grays here. So that's uh, showing very, very light amounts of quantitative precipitation because there's really not a lot. Uh, once this front moves through this evening, humidity is going to start lowering overnight, and the temperatures are going to drop off. So we're going to have temperatures well into the 80s again today. And very summer-like with uh, the humidity continuing, but then tomorrow is going to be uh, completely different. Temperatures go back into the middle 70s, mid to upper 70s across the region, and low humidity. So it's going to be a very nice, refreshing day here on Sunday, and that likely continues into Monday. Let's go to the damn high res future simulated ra radar, and I'm sure this off at 11 a.m. And the frontal boundary here at this point is sitting right here. So ahead of it, you have a couple... Uh, showers uh, starting to pop here ahead of the uh, front frontal boundary. As you will follow this along through the next couple hours, you can see it's just in some areas. It's a stray shower, very brief, or a thunderstorm. Probably a leading shower here because there's really not too much in the way of of uh, forcing with this front because it's a very weak front. Uh, but it does uh, kick everything out to the south and east. And this, by the time we get down to this point, it's 5 p.m. This is it. So it's just over the course of the afternoon hour, generally, that you have this opportunity for a quick moving shower, and it could be, you know, some added clouds with that when the front comes through, but it's just for a very limited time, and then the sun is going to come back out in full force on the other side of that front with uh, mostly sunny skies. And again, once we get into the overnight hours, the humidity is going to lower, and then we're going to get into Sunday, and it's going to be low humidity and a very pleasant day uh, with mostly sunny skies. Here's a look at Sunday. Again, no worries whatsoever. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s for highs. Uh, Generally mid 70s north and upper 70s further south. As we go a little forward into uh, Monday, same thing, uh, mostly sunny skies. We're going to inch up the temperatures, upper 70s near 80 degrees, maybe even lower 80s down here in the southeast PA region. Uh, this is uh, Tropical Storm Cristobal. It is expected to make landfall along the uh, somewhere near New Orleans or just west of there in, uh, in Louisiana. And it's going to travel up in this direction like this. Uh, that's going to stay away from our area, so we're not expecting any impacts from this directly, but there will be, eventually, as this becomes extra-tropical or post-tropical, it's going to merge with a trough, incoming trough here uh, next week, and that's going to turn this into a regular low-pressure system, a mid-level, uh, mid-latitude uh, low-pressure system. So uh, once we uh, get to that point, then there will be a cold front associated with it. We'll get to be affecting it us later in the week. Uh, but again, Monday is going to be mostly sunny. Tuesday is mostly sunny, but we're going to turn on the heat a little bit. Temperatures are getting back up in the middle 80s here on Tuesday and Wednesday, for that matter. Uh, sunny to partly cloudy on Wednesday. And here's what I'm talking about. When this uh, low gets up here in the Great Lakes, it's going to start turning. This is extra tropical at this point. So it's starting to have uh, take on regular low pressure characteristics, and you're going to have a cold front with it. Uh, but as that cold front moves near our area, uh, it won't be until later Thursday until it does so. Some, some scattered showers and thunderstorms possible with that. Uh, late Thursday, Thursday night, this might be slowed up a little bit. And might carry into very early Friday morning with a leftover shower and then clouds giving way to sun for the afternoon. But right now it looks like uh, this week ahead is primarily dry except for this one little um, one little blip on the radar here, which is going to be on Thursday, late Thursday, Thursday night, maybe in a very early Friday morning with this cold front. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms with that. And then when the actual trough comes in behind that, that's going to come in for next uh, the end of next Saturday. The actual cold front is right here. Uh, that'll come through and lower temperatures again as we get into uh, a Friday, Saturday time frame. We'll have temperatures lowering again back into the 70s, but it's still not going to be uh, too bad. We'll have a couple days, maybe three, four days of temperatures in the 70s, and we're going to worry back into the 80s and maybe even 90s after that. I'm EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Martris. That is your outlook for the weekend, June 6th and 7th, 2020. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.